hopefully this helps some guys out. If you have a DK5320 and are looking to do your 50 hour service, watch this video. Good day everybody. Tim from Timber Visions here. So we're on our way over to my tractor dealer um, where I, I had bought my DK 5320 SC tractor. And the reason I'm heading over there is when I bought the filters for my 50 hour service, the filter that they gave me for the hydrostatic transmission uh, was the wrong one. So apparently there's a couple different filters out there for the DK models. I don't know if this is for the DK 10 model or if it can go for the 20 models like I have. I'm not sure. Um, I wish I had a solid answer for you folks, but I do not. Because from what I've read, it sounds like it all just depends on your specific tractor. Like they're waffling in between a couple different filter options for the DK series, which is unfortunate. And the the factory filters don't have a number on them because they've been painted. I mean, I think there's a number under the paint somewhere, but I think you pretty much have to measure the filter to know for sure which one to get. So when we get there, I'm gonna take the filter that they sold me originally because I'm returning that and the proper filter, we're gonna set them side by side and um, and I will get you the measurements in this video for the proper size filter, you know, for this style that I'm gonna get, right? And um, I'll, I'll maybe get some dimensions off this incorrect one too. So if you maybe have that one, you'll know. There are some key characteristics of this filter here that I think you could probably see from the outside perhaps um, I'll show you those uh, here a little bit later in the video once we get there um, but yeah we'll know more after I see the proper filter I had the filter off of the tractor when I did that service and you can see that video right here I'll put a card up there if you want to see my initial 50 hour service on the Coyote DK5320 SE cab tractor model. Um, I had it all the way off. The, uh, the threaded hole on the inside was way smaller than the one that they had given me uh, as a replacement. So that's how I knew it was wrong right away. Because um, uh, the new one wouldn't thread on there no matter what. But uh, we'll be back here once I get over over to the dealership and we'll do some comparisons on these filters and maybe help you out if you're going to be doing the service on your DK tractor here in the future for the first time and you're not certain which filter you should be getting. That's, that's the main premise behind this video. Help, help people avoid this headache that I'm having right now. All right, so we're uh, we're back home. Got the tractor pulled around back to the driveway. I'm gonna show you where this filter lives. So it's like right behind the fuel tank. So that's where it lives, right there. I'm not gonna shoot any video of me actually Removing this and replacing it with a new one, just like I did on the 50 hour. It's finally going to do it now. I actually took this off during the 50 hour and discovered I had the wrong filter, but I'm going to take this off and then we'll, we'll look at it. So I, I measured it and it's the same length as um, my replacement filter that I just got from my dealer. So that uh, makes me feel 
pretty good and the uh, center hole on the replacement filter is smaller in diameter which also makes me feel pretty good about this so I'm going to go ahead and get this off and uh, put the other one on now I don't foresee there being a lot of hydraulic fluid coming out on this one when I did it uh, before not a lot came out but I do have the pan there just to catch anything that does come out there will be some fluid in the filter obviously um, but yeah we'll just uh, get it swapped out I'll put uh, hours uh, and uh, dates on the new filter before I put it on so I have that documented okay so here's the old filter on the left and the new filter on the right so I'm quite confident that these are the same filter so if you measure your hydrostatic filter which is right here behind your fuel tank that is your transmission filter I think is what they refer to it as this is the number and it's if you measure it and it's like four and a half inches long this is the filter you need not the other one I have a picture that I'll put up of the two filters side by side when I picked them up but this is the one you need if your filter is four and a half inches long okay if it's longer than four and a half inches you probably have the other filter which has a larger diameter hole here for the threading on and it has like little ridges along the lip here and it was yellow I don't know what color really has much to do with it but it was yellow this one is white this is the filter you need okay I'm gonna get this new one installed so we got her installed here new ones in place at 84 hours it's the last day of January, but 224 is close enough. Um, so it's basically February. Uh, and how much oil did I lose? I would guess maybe a cup or two. Not very much. Basically what was in the filter, that's what I lost. So not too shabby. Um, not a, not a big deal. Not like, uh, not like when you do the bigger filter that's at the bottom of the hydraulic pan. So basically you drain your whole hydraulic system when you pull it off. But now um, the tractor should be good to go until, I don't know, it's like 200 hours or something like that when I have to change the uh, all of the fluid and filters again so we're almost halfway there <laughs> but uh but yeah so here's a little update on that filter hopefully this helps some guys out if you have a dk 5320 and are looking to do your 50 hour service watch this video okay it's going to save you a lot of trouble make sure you get the right filter all it takes a little bit of measuring of your filter down here and you'll know which one you have for sure but uh hopefully this will save somebody from having uh you know a pain in the butt time like i did doing mine but uh i'm gonna check my fluid and get it topped off and uh then i'll be done with this project so i want to thank everybody for stopping in watching this video hopefully it helps somebody else out there from having the troubles that I did. Until next time, be safe brothers and sisters.